guys in the fast lane here. Today we're going to be discussing how VTech works. Now I've watched quite a few videos and a lot of people they don't discuss the whole entire VTech system. They'll talk about just the solenoid or the synchronizing piston and the lobe and that's pretty much it. But today we're going to discuss the ECU, how that works in relation with the solenoid and the pressure switch and the lobe and pretty much explain the whole entire VTEC system. VTEC stands for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control. The solenoid is the first thing that plays a role in VTEC. The pressure switch on the solenoid sends a signal back to the ECU, the electronic control unit, telling it that it has an on and off oil pressure. The ECU then verifies the signal coming from the RPMs and verifies that it's at 4500. Then it sends a signal to the VTEC solenoid and engages VTEC through the valve. And what happens is the valve goes up and it releases the oil pressure through the synchronizing pistons in the rocker arms. Now discussing the cam and rocker arm assembly of the VTEC side. If you have a dual cam VTEC, that means you have VTEC on both the intake and the exhaust valves. If you have a single cam VTEC, you only have VTEC on the intake side. There's three rocker arms on a VTEC system. There's the primary, the mid, and the secondary. Now the mid rocker arm is what rides on the high lobe of the camshaft. At low RPMs, that rocker arm is not enabled until the synchronizing piston goes through all three of the rocker arms, locking them in, allowing the camshaft profile to lift the rocker arms higher, therefore pushing the valve down further, creating more horsepower at higher RPM. Once your vehicle drops below 4,500 RPMs, the synchronizing piston releases from the three rocker arms, allowing only for the primary and secondary rocker arms to be engaged. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration on how VTEC works. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>